Hey, good afternoon, Fisherman Barry here. Well, I'm back up, uh, went all the way up to Woods Creek up at Lake Don Pedro, launched out of Moccasin Creek. Uh, we're just coming off of about three days of storms. You can see some snow, or maybe you can, up at the very top. Uh, I think some of the higher elevations got three to five feet. Um, we got an inch and a half, two inches of rain in the valley. So it's good, we need the water. And the reservoir is actually, in the last week, it's come up a foot and a half. So that's good. Uh, the bite's a little bit different today. I, um, I threw a little retro lure that I have called the Meps Minnow. Uh, and picked up four, three spots and one large mouth. Um, and I haven't used that lure. I'll be honest, it's been 50 years. It's one of the first lures I ever used for bass. Uh, fished it up at San Luis Reservoir, for those of you that are familiar with that, and started catching a lot of bass. That kind of got me hooked on it. I was a young teenager, maybe 13, 14. And, uh, Caught, actually caught a lot of bass here. Used to be a lot of smallmouth in here. I pick up one or two a year now, but uh, back in the mid 70s, I was catching smallmouth, and that Meps minnow was uh, was the lure of choice. So anyway, I caught four on that. I haven't caught any um, on the paddle tail. I tried a couple other things. I'm heading back. Uh, towards Moccasin Creek, which is up that way. But uh, I'm gonna fish all the way up there, so we'll see how it goes.
Well, I'll be damned. nice and chunky <laughs> well that was a weird one because I was just trying to clear my bale and I so I threw it way out into the lake and uh, I was kind of puzzled why it was so hard to reel it in and I decided just to set the hook and sure enough nice chunky bass on there Fifteen incher, nice and chunky. Okay, 15, 16 inches, I'll take it. Hey, Fisherman Barry here. Hey, earlier I did the intro and I mentioned that, uh, hey, we're using a throwback lure. Uh, for those that haven't used a Meps minnow before, this is it right here. It's in the uh, trout pattern. Uh, they, I think they make them in a basic sort of gray also. Um, but I picked up four or five on this one today, and then I also started throwing the, um, the little paddle tail that had been working, and I picked up a couple more there. Uh, so, so far I've got seven, uh, and they're all pretty consistent, about 15 inches. You know, one might have gone 14, one might have gone 16, and the weight's about two pounds each. So, it's a good day, and enjoyed it. And, Ha <laughs> 
pretty rough here in Moccasin Creek today. I'm glad I brought my little electric motor. I didn't use it for the first uh, three quarters of the trip, but then I got tired and decided I'd swap over from the pedals to the motor. I'm sure glad I did because I rounded that corner into Moccasin Creek. The wind is really whipping in here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that torpedo controller says I'm going four and a half miles an hour. I don't, if I was pedaling, I don't think I'd be going four and a half against the wind. 